Hi, it's Carlos from RC Advisor. This is the completed first prototype of Kilo 3D. And I'm, I'm, I'm about to go and test fly it. And uh, I don't know. I, uh, I've gotten a couple of big surprises with this model. But I mean, building, building the wing, building the fuselage was really very straightforward. And I'm very happy with how they came out. I'm not sure there's anything I need to change with that. But I've just run into a whole bunch of issues with the uh, control surface. I guess not so much, I guess the control surfaces, but mostly with the servos. And I'm still thinking about it. I have a feeling that uh, the problem is that the control surfaces are a little bit heavy. These are 3 eighths of an inch cell phone 88 uh, for, for everything. And they're nice and stiff. But the problem is that these servos that that I have, um, they can they don't seem to be able to handle the load very well. I, I guess you know that's that, I guess that's my conclusion. And I've I pulled up these servos and replaced replaced them with different ones like three times already. Um, I started out I was using this uh, blue uh, bluebird. There we go. This uh, Bluebird BMS 303 servos, which, according to the specs, are supposed to have 25 inch ounces of torque, which, you know, I would expect to be very decent. Of course, the, the servos only weigh like three grams and a half, and that that's a warning sign right there. They're analog servos, and I mean, one one thing that's become very obvious is that even even two servos that, are, that look identical, are brand new. They, they can be very different in how they behave and these bluebirds, at least one of them, has a problem coming back to center. You know, it kind of comes back kind of slowly if it's got a load on it. Again, they're, they're analog, so you will expect some of that. Uh, but I also had these um, nice looking servos, they're Blue Arrow D0501OMG, which are metal gear, and uh, I think I read it uh, they, I think they weigh about six grams, and they're rated for 20 inch ounce, ounces of torque. And I thought, okay, this this will be great choices for the elements, you know, metal gear. But and one of them, one of them worked perfect. But then the other one, I started getting this flutter kind of problem, and and I guess, you know, maybe, maybe I'll try and shoot a video of that. And, and I'm, I have never seen that before. And I think it's just an issue of the servo being you know the torque not being quite enough and the control servers being kind of heavy and of course uh, there's nothing that that's balanced uh, on this airplane and I, I have to be real honest I did not give much thought to the control surfaces I just assume you know everything will just work <laughs> and, and it didn't so so I, I, I started out with the uh, with this uh, purple bluebird then I switched out to the uh, to the nice looking these are digital you know uh, blue arrow, and those work better, but still I was having issues, and, and finally I, I switch these are Ceros CS 5.4 which I know are just a little bit bigger, and they seem to be doing okay, uh, you know one of them still gives me a little bit of a problem, but I have I'm using four of them, you know the tail and the other ones, and. Uh, and, and actually the rotor started out being quite a bit bigger and I just had to cut it down in size because I was just getting, you know, I mean again it looks like a flutter but I think it's just it's just a heavy control surface and there's a little bit of slap in the in the linkage and in fact I cut down in, in, in half the length of the control rod here because just to avoid that being a problem and it actually didn't make a big difference so anyway um, I think it's ready to go. The I painted I painted the wings red on top just to help me see it. Uh, all up weight is about 28 ounces, which is higher than I was expecting, and I think and I think the reason why it's higher is because I I completely forgot about the speed control. And you know, an airplane this size speed control is like ounce and a half. And when I was Weighing when I was weighing the different parts, I was leaving out the speed control because I'm like, gee, that's not gonna weigh much. Let me just focus on everything else. Well, you know, again, it makes a difference. So, it, but anyway, the it's just a hair uh, tail heavy, so I'm having to mount the battery. 
pretty you know pretty close to the nose but it's still in the range and um, I'm really excited uh, you know but I'm going I'm going to have to um, give some careful thought to these servos I, ha I have some other servos but they're quite a bit bigger you know these ones are, are like six ounce servos which I will think are, are enough good enough uh, but I have like some 20 gram servos but I think I think it's a combination of the control surfaces being relatively heavy, and 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 they're they not being balanced, and and also maybe there's a little bit of slap in the control linkage, even though you know I'm I'm looking at it now I don't see much, so I need to think about it. But you know this is an unusual situation where I think the airplane itself is 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 in great shape, but the uh, the control surfaces are not. So I may end up ripping those out. And, and fixing them and keeping the rest of the airplane, which is, you know, unusual for me. So anyway, I'm about to go and test fly this. Um, we'll see how it goes. Uh, it's always a learning experience, but that's, that's the whole point of doing this. And um, I need to think about it, about what worked, what didn't, and decide what's the logical next step. Hi, it's Carlos from RC Advisor. This is the post-flight debriefing on the first prototype of Kilo 3D and uh, there's not a lot that I can say about it I uh, had a friend hand launch it for me um, I gave it power but I was uh, I, I didn't give it enough power obviously so it went into a, a glide uh, and it, it, it landed about 10 feet in front of him into, into grass and it was not a, hard, a, a, a real hard landing and the motor mount just literally just came unglued. Um, I mean, it was just, it was glued onto a, a good sized surface, but it was just glued onto foam. And you know, it's a it's a powerful motor, so I'm not I'm not terribly surprised that that happened. But of course, it's very disappointing since I'm at the field and you know my friend was there to help me. And uh, gluing fit, you know, it's not, it was just not a, a quick fix. I, I don't I don't. I don't think I have any instant um, foam safe CA uh, that I could have tried to use. I'm not sure I would have trusted it because the whole thing was, it, you know, the whole thing needs to be redesigned. I um, and in the landing, this uh, one of the aileron servos came came loose. You know, had double sided tape. But I, I was hoping to learn more from it, and uh, you know, it's just very short flight. There wasn't a whole lot to it. I got a lot of ideas for refining the design but I think it's pretty good I, I think overall I, I like it I, I need I want to reduce the weight uh, a little bit from from where it's at and and you know fixing the motor mount that's pretty easy I'm gonna reinforce it with more wood on the side uh, but the whole thing with the servos I'm just not too happy with and uh, I, I need to step back and think about it you know what is it what was a good fix and um, but I also want to reduce the weight a little bit. I, I mean, this is a very solid airplane right now, but you know, if I can if I can get it down a couple of ounces, I think I'll be real happy. Now, on a side note, I took uh, I took Pickerel along, and I did some flying of that, and um, I I decided to fly with the CG further forward. So the with the battery on the nose like this, the CG is maybe half an inch ahead. Of the step, as opposed to a quarter inch, which is where, where it was before, and boy, that made a big difference. Uh, I mean, it, it turned this airplane into it's just so easy to fly right now. Uh, I mean, I, I like I like a challenge when I fly anyway, but now it's just a lot more stable. I uh, you know there's still some instability on the, on the wings, but not a lot. And uh, I actually after. I did a flight with it in, in the old spot and then I moved it forward and, and after I moved it forward I just had a, a, a succession of, of people come up to me that they wanted to know about this airplane. Of course it looks it looks a little bit different but uh, I had several people tell me today how, how beautifully it flew and it was you know that it would look like it was just a joy to fly and they couldn't believe how simple and and inexpensive and easy to build and all of that which of course was my goal so you know I think that's an important lesson which I, I really should know to know that by now but it's like 
it, it's just a process of the designing an airplane. You can't just expect it to get it all right from the get-go and it takes experience flying it and tweaking it until until you get all the bugs out and until it's you know it's just fun to fly. And you know flying pickerel compared to Kilo 3D, I mean Kilo 3D, this is literally the first time I tried to fly it. And it's got a ways to go. That's just you know that's just the way it is. And at the same time, Pickerel just couldn't be better. I mean, it's just beautiful airplane, you know, very, it's a floater, you know, very slow and just unique looking. And, you know, it's like, I need to look at Pickerel for inspiration for Kilo 3D, because that's, that's where Kilo 3D needs to be. And yeah, there's a lot of work ahead, but it's well worth it. Um, I had, again, I lost track. I had at least half a dozen people come up to me and just tell me how beautiful Pickerel was in the air and they want to build one and you know am I going am I going to publish the plans and I said yeah you know I have a website and they're already on my website and have a build video and all of that so anyway move the CG forward on Pickerel and you're gonna love it uh, Kilo 3D is got potential not there yet so till next time